Hey guys, Dan here from Hot Property Buyers Agency. Uh, we're just here in Everton Park at a property we recently purchased. I just want to take you guys through and show you a few things and uh, have a bit of a chat about it. I'm actually here with Zoran, he's my cameraman today. Hey everyone. And, uh, he has a few questions for me actually as we go through and look at this property. So um, Zoran, far away, happy to answer any questions. So mate, give us a rundown. So where are we? How many bedrooms, bathrooms, that sort of thing? So we're here in Everton Park, which is, uh, this property is actually located eight and a half kilometers from Brisbane CBD. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car property on 610 square metres. So really good sized parcel land for, for this close proximity to the Brisbane CBD. Yeah, definitely. And what uh, what purchase price are we after here? What, what did we pick up this one for? So we managed to pick this one up for a really great price for our client. It was uh, very early 600s so we managed to get this one for. Now this one was on the market, higher price though, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. So it was on the market with a selling agent. The owner had received offers, actually in excess of what we managed to pick the property up for. So I'll tell you a bit about that situation. Uh, the seller had it with an agent. The, uh, the agent actually received offers, which the seller didn't accept. He then went on to try and sell the property himself. We had previously looked at the property and uh, we, we have very good knowledge of what things are going for and what people are offering in the area. So. We ended up making him an offer which was less than what he received previously on the market, but once he'd done his calculations, he figured that he was actually in a better net position. So basically a win-win situation for everyone. We managed to pick it up for less than market value um, because it had previously received higher offers and also the seller won because they, they had a better net result. But yeah, for us, the real big win was for our client, obviously. And also I see we've got some fans and down lights here. Did we do that uh, after settlement? Yeah, so uh, after settlement, we just made a couple of minor improvements. We, we spent a, a small amount, um, sub $10,000, and that really helped lift that rental yield. So we added some down lights, uh, fans in all of the bedrooms. We did a few little things here and there, um, which is just general uh, preventative maintenance. So things that came upon the building and pests and things that our property management team picked up and said, hey, let's attend to this now so it doesn't become a problem in the future. So. By spending a little bit of money now after you purchase and having that little buffer there, um, it can really save you a lot of money down the track, things that will become bigger expenses. Definitely, and there's still opportunity here in this room that I can see for future value adding. You've got these robes here which you can put uh, a sliding mirror door and make the room feel bigger. Uh, there's also a front balcony here with a doorway from this master bedroom. So even opportunity in the future to add an ensuite. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. So what we've seen people do previously, and obviously all subject to builder's approval, is uh, utilizing this front balcony space. So I'll just see if it's open here so I can take you guys out. Um, utilizing this front balcony space and uh, you know, possibly putting a door here mm. and making this area an ensuite. So you would effectively uh, be ensuiting the master bedroom, creating a, a, a three bedroom uh, on suited hat home. And this, this Trout's Estate pocket of Everton Park, we've purchased numerous properties in this area, but what is it that you like about this particular pocket? I think this pocket uh, currently is, is very owner-occupied dominated, and it's got a great feel to it. So, um, you know, a lot of the homes around here are really well maintained, um, and that's generally what you get with, with owner-occupiers. There's also a very strong rental demand. Uh, the other thing is the size of home you get and the location to the CBD. I feel you get really, really great bang for buck. Yeah, this is something you don't see a lot of in Brisbane where you've got uh, brick home after brick home and it, and it just sort of shows you it is a bit of an unusual area uh, and, and really a highly desirable area as well. So guys, we might finish it up there. We don't want the video going on for too long. You guys are very busy, but uh, hopefully this has been a good insight for you into the Brisbane property market and some of the things the hot property team are picking up and buying. So uh, so thanks for everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call on 07 3170 3760. Uh, sign off, Dan. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to get in contact. Cheers, guys. See ya.